Hey guys, my name is Q with another video with a brand new video of Until Dawn. I'm really, really sorry about not getting a video done this well this year, well this month, I just can't. I'm really sorry about that. I was really occupied. I just noticed that I moved ahead of her in my character. Okay, so, let's start a new story. It. it is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my hair. I'm not making moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl, and just because he's class pres doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. I am. I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. Mike? It's Hannah. Hey, Hannah. Hey, did you see that? Dad said it'd just be us this weekend. Josh? Okay, so... <clears throat> Yeah, I'm gonna put some titles. Ooh, look, it's you. Settings. Hmm. Wait. No. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Huh. Okay, fine. Get titles. I go text. Drunk or what? Jeez, Josh. 
Once again, brother, you've outdone us all. Aww. You look so damn hard in that truth. Drop it. You're even harder out of it. Come to our guest room at 2 a.m. I can it's sex, sex. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? I got your note. I'm glad you could make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. Oh, hell yeah. <gasps> oh my god. She's taking her shirt off. What? Oh my god. Matt, what are you doing here? Uh, Hannah. I'm sorry, Hannah. Hannah. Hey, this all got out of Just a stupid prank. Uh, oh, hey, you guys are jerks. You know that? <laughs> Josh, Josh, fuck. Guys, there's someone outside. Where's my sister going? It's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We just messed around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Hannah! Hannah! So, should we go after her? You know, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. There's nothing. Ugh.
something. Possible death of the person behind it. A vision of guidance for the future towards the potential loss of a friend. Threat of the danger. Prophecy of good fortune. Okay, so Mr. Nan, the twin from 1952. The twin's character info. She's brave. You must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. You can get a butterfly, I think. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is and I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right, we will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up the card? Hey guys, here with another video. 
of Until Dawn. Um, I replayed the last scene because I thought I didn't get a butterfly effect, but I did. I couldn't. But I didn't try to wake up uh, Josh, and I let go. Yeah. So here we are with uh, Doctor Hill, and we're going to continue. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can ah. change. Sorry, so cool. What happened last year? The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. So, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right. We will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up a card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. It, it is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. I'm scared. Oh. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. Okay, honesty is good. What do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? Well, I see, I see. Let's see, the scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Say a week, for example. And what if I told you that this cottage was haunted? Oh. All right, all right. I sense that you suffer from a significant fear of, of the supernatural. What lies beyond the veil of death is, after all, the ultimate unknown. Don't you agree? And what could inspire fear more than the terror of uncertainty? Please remember, this is only a game. Well, we seem to be out of time for this session. But we'll talk again very soon. Okay? Like, five minutes. Yeah. 
Today is the one year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein is in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. Listeners, an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Anthony. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this, and that I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, you know, thinking of them. I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and, um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for for the sake of my sisters, and, you know. Okay, so, let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! Maybe I missed something back? Don't miss anything. Okay, so let's get to the cable car with Sam, Hannah's 
next best friend because well, she's dead and she's adventurous that may help us some other stuff that I don't remember but yeah Bella, you hungry? Huh? <laughs> Cutie. <laughs> cool. Uh. all the way up here that's true we can't we don't have checkpoints here 